What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here with your second stimulus check update. And we got breaking news regarding the $1,200 stimulus check fight where there's $600 stimulus checks in this new package, but they're fighting to get $1,200. Senator Josh Hawley, Republican senator and Democrats or independent senator, Senator Bernie Sanders are both fighting for $1,200. I'm going to show you what happened and what happened after that along with the government shutting down tonight at midnight before they pass this stimulus package. We're going to go over when we should expect to receive this money, when we should expect this to pass. <sighs> Buckle in because there's a lot going on right now regarding stimulus checks in your pocket and the stimulus package, which includes a $300 per week unemployment extension. I'm going to get to all the details right now. First up, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi from the Democrats and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell both received the vaccine today. And in addition to that, Joe Biden is going to receive the first dose of his vaccine on Monday. So we are seeing government leadership show their support for this vaccine. We just had Vice President Mike Pence also receive it. Now let's go over the $1,200 stimulus check vote that happened today by both, both Democratic Senator Bernie Sanders and Republican Senator Josh Hawley. Let me show you a clip of what happened. I'm going to show you the clip of the Bernie Sanders what happened. The same thing basically happened on Senator Hawley's uh, vote. Do I, do I call it a vote? I don't know. Let me show you. As if in legislative session, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of S-5063, which I introduced earlier today, that would provide a $1,200 direct payment to every working class adult, $2,400 for couples, and $500 for their children, that the bill be considered read three times and passed, and the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table. Is there objection? Madam President. Senator from Wisconsin. Reserving the right to object. We don't need to mortgage our children's future by another three or four hundred billion dollars. We don't need to do that. We can alleviate suffering. We can help our fellow Americans. We could have done it in September but the good senator for Vermont and all of his colleagues on the Democrat side simply won't take yes for an answer. And my guess is they're taking that same stance today. So, Madam President, I object. Objection is heard. So that was Republican Senator Ron Johnson from Minnesota who objected to having this bill voted on the floor for the $1,200 stimulus check, so Republican Senator Ron Johnson from Minnesota just blocked a bill for $1,200 stimulus checks that was proposed by both Bernie Sanders and Republican Senator Josh Hawley. You guys want to know who's blocking this? There it is. Republican Senator Ron Johnson from Minnesota, for the third time, just blocked a $1,200 bill vote with an up or down vote on the Senate floor. But that's a, it's not really the end of the world because since then, we've actually gotten more support for these $1,200 stimulus checks. And also Senator Josh Hawley took this personally when after that he heard that the House and the Senate are trying to pass a two-day continuing resolution to prevent a government shutdown tonight at midnight to fund the government for only two more days until Sunday so that they can get this bill passed within the next 48 hours. At first, Senator Josh Hawley says, no, I am going to block that bill just like you blocked my stimulus check bill because the stimulus checks are the most important thing. However, since then, Senator Josh Hawley says, I have been assured by Senate GOP leadership, which is Senate Republican leadership. GOP stands for Grand Old Party. It's an old nickname for the Republican Party. It says, I have been assured by the Republican Party that COVID direct assistance to working people is in this stimulus relief bill under negotiation. And I will remain on that basis. I will consent to a brief continuing resolution to allow negotiations to continue. And then in his next tweet, he says, I will continue to fight 
for $1,200 per person and $500 minimum for kids and working families. What's interesting is that there's, we still haven't gotten the actual bill because they're still actually working on these details. And we have now seen big, massive leadership. Chuck Schumer, the Senate minority leader, has now come on board and said that he too wants $1,200 stimulus checks in this package and not stimulus checks for $600. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says, I'm standing with Senator Bernie Sanders to fight for $1,200 stimulus checks. This is a brand new account. He's the Senate Minority Leader for the Democrats, and we have not heard this at all. We have not really heard a lot from Nancy Pelosi or Chuck Schumer on this. And he says he is now standing with Senator Bernie Sanders to fight for $1,200 stimulus checks, saying millions are out of work through no fault of their own. This could mean the difference between Americans paying rent or not, affording groceries or not. Let me show you exactly what is going on in the Senate floor right now. And if this country means anything, if democracy means anything, if the U.S. government means anything, it means that we cannot turn our backs on this suffering, not in Vermont, not in Wisconsin, not in New York, not in any state in this country where people are hurting in an unprecedented way. It means that we cannot leave Washington as senators for the holidays to go back to our families unless we address the pain and anxiety of other families throughout this country. Would my colleague from Vermont yield for, for some support for his amendment? I would be happy to yield to the uh, I'll speak briefly, and I thank my colleague. I want to join my friend Senator Sanders to support his This is Chuck Schumer, Senate Minority Leader. Amendment to give $1,200 in direct financial support to the American people in the year-end emergency relief bill. Now, this effort should not subtract from any other program already in the bill, like enhanced unemployment, aid to small business, education, health care, or another provision. We don't need to offset the cost or cut from elsewhere in the bill to make sure the stimulus checks are $1,200 for each adult and then money for children and others, as he will elaborate. Much of the money will go back into the economy anyway. The reason for the amendment is simple. Over the course of this pandemic, working Americans have taken it on the chin. Millions have lost their jobs through no fault of their own. 26 million have had trouble putting food on the table in the last five weeks. Bread lines stretching down American highways. 12 million Americans alone average of $6,000 in rent and mortgage. So we have an opportunity in this emergency relief bill to give financial aid directly, directly to those Americans. It could mean the difference between Americans paying the rent or not, affording groceries or not, the difference between hanging on until the vaccine helps our country get back to normal. Now, the only objection we've heard is this will add too much to the deficit. That's why a Republican senator rejected a similar request earlier today to push a baseless agenda of austerity. Please, by now, Republican objections over debt and deficit are comical. They added $2 trillion to the debt for a massive tax cut for corporations and the wealthy, and that was during a steady economy. So that's Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, who is the leader of the Democrats in the Senate, who has now come on and brought his full Democratic support in the Senate to go for $1,200. Now, we know that there's going to be at least $600 in this bill. This is one of the major details they're still working on to put in this bill that they haven't really drafted yet because they're working on this. And they're also working on how long the unemployment pay is going to be. We have 12 to 13 weeks on the low end and 16 weeks on the high end. Either way, that should take us till around April 1st or possibly longer in 2020. But this renewed push for $1,200, as we've seen Republican Senator Ron Johnson say, oh, no, I object because now I don't want to spend money when it comes to the American people. The American people, oh, we can't spend extra money for them. Now we're starting to see more and more just people that are kind of disgusted that this is even Senator Josh Hawley, who's a Republican. He looked at this dude, his own Republican, like, what planet do you come from? But now the economy's on life support. Americans are queuing up on breadlines, filing for unemployment, 
just as a Democratic president is about to take office, all of a sudden the deficit scolds are back. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. Chairman Powell, hardly a big liberal, of the Federal Reserve insisted the risk of doing, of the risk of overdoing it is less than the risk of underdoing it. The quickest way to get money into the pockets of the American people is to send some of their tax dollars right back where they came from. So let's step up to the plate, deliver the $1,200 survival checks to millions of Americans before the holidays. I support Senator Sanders' request fully and hope the Senate will consent and yield back. Well, let me thank the senior senator, senator from New York, the Democratic leader, for his strong statement. He is exactly right. In this time of crisis, it is comical that suddenly our Republican friends once again discover that we have a deficit. This is a moment of emergency, of emergency. And we have got to respond to the needs of working families. And I thank Senator Schumer for his small, strong support uh, for this legislation. Mr. President, members of Congress should also be aware that we are far behind other major countries in terms of protecting working families during this pandemic. Not only does every other wealthy country guarantee health care to all people as a human right, almost all of them are providing far more generous benefits to the unemployed and the struggling in their countries than we are doing in our country. And he's right. I've said that before. This is several months ago. I seen a study that said that basically the U.S. had spent less than half than the average amount of other first world countries. And as you know, we have passed no stimulus since then. So he's pretty correct to say that almost all first world countries have done more stimulus than we have in a percentage of their GDP. Of course, if you're you know a small country like Canada that has 10 percent of our population, it's, it's in percentage of their population, you know. So if you have 300 and some million people like us, or if you have 30 million people, you know, it's per person. It's how much you're doing to help your population. And the U.S. has done considerably less than other nations. And economists agree now is not the time to say, hey, we need to be fiscal, fiscally responsible and not pass stimulus now because we're going to take years to likely come out of this recession for restaurants and, and jobs and travel industry and all these different businesses and sectors that have been hard hit, it's going to take time for everybody to get their confidence back and get those numbers back to what they were. And spending stimulus now will increase that recovery time and make it shorter. And if they don't spend more stimulus now, then it's going to take longer. But let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Both sides are saying they're going to pass this bill, okay? Both sides are okay with a $600 stimulus check. Really, it's just the fight now to make it a $1,200 stimulus check. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I personally am happy that there's $600 stimulus checks in there because a week ago, there was zero in there. Now, yes, I fully understand that $1,200 is better, and I like this push for $1,200, but... If it comes down to $600, I'm much happier than I was last week or three days ago when there was no stimulus check in there now. This push has at least gotten us to the $600 mark per person. So if you're a family of four, you're $2,400. If you're a family of two, you're $1,200. If you're a family of six, you're $3,600. Something is better than nothing, including this unemployment extension of $300 per week to help these people that have lost their jobs Typically on unemployment, you get half or less than what you made at your job. So this kind of helps them get closer to what they were making at their previous job. And of course, there's rent assistance money, money for food in there that I will be helping you claim this rent assistance and this food money when they pass this bill. I really would like them to see a $1,200 stimulus check, but I also don't want them to bicker on this and not pass this bill and I don't want that to be the deal breaker. I want them to pass something now. And then as both uh, Biden and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell from the Republicans said, 
They know there's more stimulus going to have to come next month. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell already said he knows that Joe Biden administration wants more stimulus, and he knows that they're going to have to pass more coming soon. So let's just hope that they get something done this weekend with this two-day uh, resolution that may or may not pass tonight. We could wake up in the morning with a government shutdown, as they're going to be probably passing this right before midnight, if they can pass it at all, if it's not blocked. And they're going to have two whopping whole days to pass this stimulus package this weekend. So make sure you've given this video a like and make sure you've subscribed down below. It's completely free to do so. This way you won't miss out on new videos that come out at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, subtract three hours if you're West Coast. Click the bell icon if you want to get notifications when we go live. Uh, those are the typical times, but not all the time. Sometimes I add additional videos in here and there. But I will keep you guys updated with the breaking news as soon as it comes out. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA. I have dozens of students that have replaced their entire 9 to 5 income by selling products on Amazon. And I teach them how to do that. Click on one of those videos to watch that next. Thanks, guys. And I will see you in the next video.